Hey guys, happy hump day. Welcome back to a daily dose of love with Tasha. I'm your host, Tasha Bradley. Thank you all for tuning in each and every Wednesday, giving me ear time. You're truly appreciated, guys. Big shout out to our international listeners. What's good, guys? I hope life's treating everyone well. If you're new to hearing my voice, welcome aboard. Here on a daily dose of love with Tasha, you are encouraged to love your damn self. Who's going to tell you that it's okay to be obsessed and madly in love with yourself? You have to love you first. You have to love you before you can love anyone else, okay? So feel free to go through the content. We have amazing, amazing content, if I must say so myself. And I do say so. Okay, it's my show. (laughs) Get to know me. Thank you for pushing play and giving me ear time. And don't forget to please tell a friend to tell a friend about a daily dose of love with Tasha. If you know anyone who's in need of a self-love recharge or if someone's on a self-love journey, send them my way. I'm your girl. So thank you all. I appreciate you all. It's uh, Wine Wednesday. It's Hump Day. It's Women Crush Wednesday. You know, Wednesday is a busy, busy day. And with that being said, what's in your cup, guys? What do you have in your cup? As you can hear here, I have inside of my water bottle some Chardonnay, okay? Don't tell nobody. This is between myself and you all, okay? Let's just keep it amongst the tribe. <laughs> anyway, it's Wine Wednesday. What's in your cup, guys? I, like I said, have my water bottle. It's filled with Chardonnay, okay? Don't ask me why I have it in here today. It's a long story. Don't worry about it. Mind your business, okay? <laughs> you are my business, though. Anyway, guys, on three, let's uh, have a toast to uh, finishing out May. You know, it was the month of uh, mental health awareness. So I've been trying to bring you all a lot of stuff in regards to mental health. Today is no different. Okay, so on three. One, two, three. Salute. Cheers. Oh, the Chardonnay is so beautiful, guys. All righty. We can get this show on the road. I hope whatever you had in your cup is absolutely as delicious as this uh, Chardonnay was for me. All right. Let's get going. Today, we're going to be discussing, as I mentioned, it's Mental Health Awareness Month. We're still in the month of May. And I just wanted to um, encourage you all because I know we're all so busy. We're chasing the bag. We're trying to make sure the kid's okay, the hubby, the wife, and, you know, maybe you have parents, older parents, grandchildren helping out, you know, other family members or friends or just volunteering in the community and just uh, being everything for everyone. But at some point in some time, I just want you all to know it's okay to be lazy. When was the last time you spent a day being absolutely lazy? I mean, doing absolutely nothing. It's truly important. Lazy days are necessary. They're essential to our health. In fact, just imagine that, that some days all you need is a good rest. You just need to just shut everything down, shut everyone out. I'm learning to do that because to be honest with you all, mentally, I've been all over the place for the last few months. As I've been discussing with you all, you know, I wasn't okay. I've been drained. The show, you know, producing the material for episodes, being able to market and, uh, you know, engaging with my listeners and folks on social media. It's almost like, oh, am I, I don't want to burn out. I don't want to burn out. And I keep saying that every single day. I am pushing myself. I'm fighting myself. So it's really important to have lazy days. I am trying. You all know my Sundays are, you know, I love my Sundays. But I'm not talking about pampering and uh, doing all those different things on your lazy day, which I do on Sunday. You do the laundry. You know, you're you're just uh, watching so much, you know, well, sports, with footballs and <laughs> anything else I'm not really into. But um, you have to just take time out to just disconnect from the world, from everything and everyone around you. 
It's the only way you're going to be better for yourself and those that are around you, okay? So that's what I wanted to tell you all today to encourage someone that that day that you don't feel like doing anything, not answering the phone, not getting dressed, you know, just uh, not, um, you know, just you just want to be able to do absolutely nothing. I know I got kind of confusing here, but I just want to tell you all. It's okay to just lay around and do absolutely nothing, okay? So we're going to get into some things that's going to encourage us with our lazy days, okay? So you're going to mark a day off in your calendar. If you'd like to start off with, uh, you know, one day a week, that's fine. Choose the day that you want to do absolutely nothing to recharge, to reset, to refocus your mind, your body, and your spirit. It's important. It's vital to your health, okay? And also, you can do it monthly. If you choose to, if, you know, once a week because your schedule is just too much, then do it once a month. You know, we're ending the month of May. Today is actually May, let me see. Oh, wow. Let me see where we are, guys, so that I can tell you. Okay, today is May 24th, okay? We have one more Wednesday, which will be the 31st. So if you want to get this started for June, you can do so. Because like I said, we're at the end of the month. Today is May 24th. So if you want to set this up to get started in June, that's fine. If you, like I said, weekly, monthly, just make sure you're putting some time out for yourself, okay? Are lazy days good for you? Having a lazy day gives your brain a break and your body a chance to recover. It also reduces stress, which can help you make more productive in your non-lazy days it is also an easy way to prevent burnout and being susceptible sorry to chronic diseases if you don't pick a day to relax your body will pick it for you that's exactly what i was saying encouraging you all saying you know body mind and spirit we all need to take a break your body and i know i'm at the verge of a burnout and so I have to really start implementing more lazy days which I've been trying to do it now on Saturdays to kind of take off but now I'm feeling like no I need to be marketing so I'm going to definitely choose a lazy day for myself and did you all know that um, there's actually a national lazy day it's August the 10th And on August the 10th, National Lazy Day gives us permission to relax and kick back. But we shouldn't be doing this once a year. You understand? So, but there is a day. So if you aren't able to participate in June, July, maybe August the 10th. Remember, August the 10th is National Lazy Day. Okay? You can take that day. And what should you do for a lazy day? This is what... I want you all to really listen to because I know some of you all will still try and just overdo it, do laundry, do, you know, take it as a day to catch up of doing things around the house or running errands. That's not a lazy day. So indulge in your couch potato side with these lazy day ideas, okay? Sleep in. Your body needs to sleep in order to heal and well exist. Dress comfortably. Set yourself up in front of a TV or a good book. Treat yourself to some easy recipes or takeout. Take a long, hot bath. Enjoy silence. Now, what I break down from here is to sleep in. Yes, you may need to just take the entire day to just sleep. There's nothing wrong with that. In fact, your body's going to appreciate and thank you for it. Dress comfortably. You can be butt-ass naked. (laughs) I'm not a birthday suit girl. I wish I could sleep nude or just be comfortable to walk around in the nude. I have family members who are nudist. My sisters and my mother was, you know. And um, I'm just not that girl. I'll have on some real comfy uh, pajamas. Also some nice little fuzzy socks. That's my uh, idea of being comfortable. But if you are a nudist and like being in the nude, hey, you're going to be extremely comfortable. And then you could, you know, binge watch something on TV. Netflix has amazing uh, different movies that you all can catch up on in series that will keep you busy. A good book, read something, catch up on something, or you can journal. 
you know write a to-do list of things that you need to do more of less of things like that and then treat yourself don't you know get up and make a 12 course meal no 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 that's not what we're doing you want to make something quick simple and easy or you just want to order something i'm a takeout girl so i'd prefer to order out i know sometimes with the um fees for DoorDash, you know, your thing is $20, $19, and you go, oh, that's good, and then by the time you tally up everything, you're going, wait a minute, how do I owe 56 70 something and you still press order, <laughs> but anyway, hey, it's all about treating yourself, we only live once, you can drop dead today or tomorrow, and the money will be sitting in the bank, and somebody will be fighting over it, so hey, you deserve that, it's your lazy day, you shouldn't be cooking, and if you are cooking, it should be really simple. Grab a sandwich, make a salad, you know, open the can of soup, uh, tacos, something really, really simple and good. Let me get another sip of this wine, guys. Hold on. Hold on. Yes, this is a drinking show. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, where was, where was I? Oh, talking about uh, ordering out. So go ahead and get you something ordered in. Get you some nice epsom salt get in a bath and just soak if you have a spa or a jacuzzi that'll be just as great you know just as good as this and you know what you may just want to enjoy silence you may not want to turn on a tv you may not want to read a book or listen to music they didn't even have music here because music is a bit much when you're really trying to just lie and relax unless you put on some classical or piano music it really relaxes you but anyway i want you to uh just enjoy the silence doing absolutely nothing listening to nothing just uh getting lost in your thoughts or looking at the ceiling or looking out the window wherever your view is okay are lazy days bad? I don't want you all to feel guilty. Don't feel guilty. There's no reason to feel bad about occasional laziness. In fact, it may be exactly what you need. As overworked, exhaustion, and stress builds up, it becomes necessary to be able to decompress in order to continue meeting the demands of work, school, family, relationships. We have to escape sometimes, guys. It's okay to disappear from everything and everyone and enjoy your lazy day okay so we're going to now like i said start implementing the rest of what do we have six seven months left in 2023 so it's enough time to start training yourself and getting yourself in position to let everyone know you know how we have those me time days where you want to go out and just do things for yourself lazy days are just up there with me time and pampering like i said as as you've noticed in this i didn't mention anything about pampering and the facial yes that's relaxing but it's just too much on a lazy day a lazy day doesn't entitle anything i prefer you to just do silence order something binge watch something on tv you know you may not even want to listen to you know podcasts on your lazy days unfortunately not knocking us but it's a lazy day and you know treat it as such and just plan out and let folks know tomorrow is my lazy day next week that's my lazy day i do absolutely nothing i'm not communicating the phone is on dnd do not disturb i'm not texting i'm not calling i'm not going on social media i'm not going over to a friend's i don't want anyone to come over i'm not meeting you to go out and hang out that's not a lazy day okay i've gone over things with you all to do i want all of us and myself included i truly need it because as i've been as i've been honest with you all i'm i'm like at the not at the end of my uh, rope here, but it, I'm getting close. I, like I said, I have to pull back, and I know that. So I hope that you all can take something from this to relax your body, your mind, your spirit, and just give yourself a break. Stop feeling guilty that, oh, you know, we grew up with, don't be lazy. Stop being lazy. Your mom will tell you, you're not going to be lazy around this house. You can't be lazy in school. Don't be lazy here. Don't be lazy there. It's okay to be lazy, guys. 
at least one day out of the week, one day out of the month, or if you choose to just celebrate it on the national holiday, which is August the 10th. Just be lazy. It's okay. Rest up, okay? Thank me now for this. <laughs> You're welcome. You are so welcome. Anyway, I love you all. More importantly, I want you to love yourself. The jam of the week this week. I don't know why I'm doing all these old school songs. I can't think of anything new. You know, I listen to my oldies and they're just more, um, more, you know, in my heart. I'm just an old school. I'm, I'm 57, guys. I'm not a youngster. So I grew up with this stuff and this is the stuff that gets me through days and nights and weeks or whatever. But we're going to give it up to the Queen of Soul. May she rest in peace. Miss Aretha Franklin would say a little prayer. This song was recorded in uh, 1968. The artist is Aretha Franklin. The album was Aretha Now. So yes, go out and, um, I mean, go out. Go to your music, uh, wherever you get your music, and uh, turn it up. Aretha Franklin's Say a Little Prayer for You, okay? And I also want you all to know, this is a reminder that along with self-love and self-care, self-control is also very essential, okay? Self-control. And when you have those lazy days, you'll be so much more in control of your life, your feelings, and everything to make you better, okay? Remember these things. Tell a friend to tell a friend about A Daily Dose of Love with Tasha. Find me on all social media. Join my Facebook group, A Daily Dose of Love with Tasha. It's an open public group. I'd like for you guys to come hang out with me there. But more importantly, guys, after listening to this show, please remember to give us a five-star rating. It's extremely important to uh, get my podcast up in the ratings if you are appreciating this content and what I'm bringing you all every week it should be easy and you should want to leave me an amazing review and five star ratings okay so please wherever you can do please do so okay thank you all for listening thank you all for supporting me if you'd like to become a sponsor I'd like to give a big shout out I don't know our latest sponsor is Shanika thank you so very much for being a sponsor she is uh, paying $4.99 a month so I appreciate big shout out to all of my sponsors you guys are appreciated thank you so very much I'd like you all to uh, don't forget get it scheduled we're going to have some lazy days that's what it's all about I thank you all for tuning in one love